Thank you for introduction. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the name of presentation that I would tell today is Wings for UAV based on high lift airfoils. This work continues the results of joint project, joint work that uh, Israel Aerospace Industries provided together with aerodynamic team of ADE. Uh, let's begin from some uh, historical review. Here is, here is the picture from well-known uh, book, but uh, not new book. This is the release of 83 year. Uh, so you see that for low rail uh, areas that related to the wings of unmanned vehicles, we don't see even the names even the bet about the UAV. And the modern, the modern releases, the modern reductions of the same graphs already continue the UAV and already continue the, even the pictures. This is the pictures from uh, open sources from internet. You see the, that UAV is related for the realness number area, the main aerodynamic parameter, realness number, that corresponded to our investigation, about 300K. This is, this is a, a number that we'll speak today. And for additional sample, this is not historical review, this is a forecast, the American market of unmanned vehicles. This is the modern time, and this is a forecast uh, for the next the cuts. So you see the increase of market, and this is the reason of our interest, interest to this area of investigation. Uh, our Israel aerospace industry is one of the leaders, and the last decades we are going in for researching in unmanned vehicles, the well-known vehicles that now in uh, employment all around the world is the Heron family, the Heron one, it's already classic, based on two element aerofoils and high aspect ratio aerodynamics. And the modern, uh, the larger version is Heron TP. Uh, I want to put your attention on the view of these aircrafts. the external payloads, the non-stream fuselage. And these vehicles uh, were created not for speed flight. It's clearly seen on these pictures. This is important for our today analysis. And it's clearly seen the uh, high initial drag of, of these configurations. This is not a mistake. This is reality for tactical operational UAVs. If we look for new generation of unmanned vehicles of Israel uh, aerospace, this is a Panther family. The Panther family is a full scale Panther family and mini, and mini versions. Uh, this is outstanding aerodynamic and flight control and this is a uh, converter for vertical take off and landing and for horizontal flight as well. But you see that these vehicles uh, consider three engines, three engines and pop up. So the sole problem, uh, the high initial drag, not uh, flight speed aerodynamic. This family, the Panther family, is uh, lying close to our area of interest. In. Uh, the speeds that you see here on the slides is correspond to the Reynolds number that we discussed today that, uh, that we made investigation. Let's go to analysis. This is the, one of the main uh, aerodynamic factor for tactical UAV is endurance. We not analyze today the indents parameter, the fuel, and the structure, only aerodynamic parameter, and the main aerodynamic parameter is aerodynamic endurance factor. Because of the exponent one and half, 
the lift of aircraft became the most important parameter, even uh, mostly than uh, initial drag. But let's compare, let's compare the aircraft uh, sail, sail plane with very clean aerodynamic and uh, conventional tactical operational UAV. We see that for clean configuration, to achieve a maximum aerodynamic endurance, we do not need the high uh, level of maximum lift. But if we come for real application with initial drag, this is empirical method to, uh, and measurement about uh, 40, 150 counts, to achieve the high value of uh, endurance factor, we need to increase lift, to increase lift uh, as, as high as possible, and so we'll get the aerodynamic gain. On the right graph, it's presented the comparison between two element airfoil, bet between uh, wings based on two element airfoil with high aspect ratio. Uh, this is sample from Heron family. In comparison with conventional uh, single element uh, based air, uh, wing, for example, the same class is Predator. And it's clearly seen that for clean application, two element wings, high lift wings, uh, have an, uh, not, not have preferences, but for real application with external payloads, with high initial drag, the high lift wings became the gain. If we uh, retain this analysis for, uh, for Panther family, that is more clear for our today investigation, we see the same, the same results. For clean configuration, for example, with 200 counts, we see uh, some moderate lift we need to achieve maximum lift but if we look if we look for real configuration to achieve uh, maximum value uh, high value of max of uh, aerodynamic endurance we need to increase lift as possible but it is not enough to create wing with uh, airfoil uh, based on high lift sections it is very important uh, complex wind design including high aspect ratio. On the right graph, we see that for low aspect ratio, the maximum value of uh, aerodynamic endurance is lying not in the high lift area. So high lift airfoils cannot help us for wings with low aspect ratio. But with high aspect ratio, with special uh, high end long endurance design, the aspect ratio and high value of maximum lift assist us to achieve uh, higher value of aerodynamic endurance. The low speed that, that is characterized for uh, unmanned vehicles and limited dimensions because of min miniaturizations of electronic and miniaturizations of uh, plane relates to the low values of railness number, and this brings the new difficulties for wing design. On this graph, we see that a higher value of lift, high lift flight, provides the decrease of railness number because of decreasing of uh, flight speed. And this brings the special uh, features of low railness, uh, of low railness wing design. The main problem of low renaissance dynamic that we not put attention for uh, high renaissance number for transonic for speed flight is the uh, laminar separation bubble. The laminar separation bubble is the feature of transition between laminar and turbulent flow and the, uh, the right, the good design provide the minimal size of uh, separation bubble and full flow reattachment after the separation bubble. But unright uh, mistakeable design continues the danger 
of burst of separation bubble with early transition to fully turbulent f uh, flow or to fully separation. So we can lost the lift and uh, decrease the capabilities of our wing. And on this graph we see that the area of our UAV is lying on critically, really critically value of realness number. So it is very important the careful design of airfoils and of wing for this area of speed flight. And now we became some report about the results. Several uh, airfoils were designed. Every airfoil was tested in wind tunnel in Kanpur Indian Institute of Technology. Every airfoil uh, belonged to the original concept and every airfoil uh, belonged to high lift concept. How we can to achieve maximum value of lift? Let's begin from single airfoil. The main way to increase lift value is camber shape and strong bluntness of leading gate of front part of airfoil to achieve to increase the flow acceleration on front part of airfoil and to provide place for full recovery. Additional concave for uh, additional lift, but the price for this will be additional uh, pitching moment. And this is permanent curvature design is to provide a mild stall. The same principle is for two element airfoils, but here we have an additional, additional level of difficulties, the design of slot. This is a two element airfoil with permanent slot, and we must to carefully design the slot as a confuser, not only for nominal setting, but it have to work as a confuser for all flap deflections. Uh, here must to tell that conventional computational tool cannot assist us to predict uh, to predict horizontal overlap and vertical gap, and so this design is only from uh, empirical experience, and we have to provide reliable overlap for all flap deflections. The new generation is to element aerofoil with retractable flap, the, the sole name test fixed hint aerofoil. This is, uh, this is a part of class of Fowler flap, but the second element not go inside as for general aviation wing. This is only retracted to main body. The special feature, the special difficulty of design here is to design the bay for retracted flap so that for flight with retracted flap, the wing can, uh, can work as wing based on single element airfoil. This airfoil provides not only positive flap deflection, but as well the horde increment. So because of uh, movement, second element, after that. So we uh, we get the additional value of lift. The single element airfoil B90 was designed and tested and in wind tunnel. Uh, we see the good agreement between experiment and computational lines. And we see the wide milestone plata, but limited value of maximum lift. Some reserve of increasing of maximum lift could be achieved by additional devices, such as uh, DTE, divergent train linkage, or we propose the simplified version of DTE, the weight train linkage, that will be more simple for production. But even with this device, the maximum lift retain limited. So to achieve the highest value of maximum lift, we propose the two element airfoil with built-in possibility of adaptive geometry, with positive for flip deflection, and even for nominal setting, uh, 
we get the high value of maximum lift and high value of loitering lift, including a strict restriction of flight speed safety. The negative of this concept, not negative, but some disadvantage, is drug penalty, because two element airfoils always provide the higher drug uh, with comparison with single element airfoil. To minimize drug for maximum speed flight, that is more important, we can to use the cambering options to fly with negative deflection of flap, but even in this case, where retain is uh, relatively high value of drug. The new proposed, the new proposal is two element airfoil with a retractable flap. The deflected flap, not only positive deflection, but movement uh, to backward, we can to achieve the high value of maximum lift, and we can to fly it with retracted flap with, uh, with a drag the, the similar as the single element airfoil. But we have to pay some price for these uh, advantages. This airfoil is suitable only for positive deflection, so it can be applied only as flap section, not as aileron section. And I put your attention to position of hint point. It requires the high power of actuators, high uh, hinge moment. Sometimes we have the limit of actuator's power, so it, it could be some uh, difficulties. Let's compare the presented uh, design, the presented concepts. Here is two, all three concepts on, on one picture. We see that two element airfoil with a retracted flap, with a retractable flap, in the version of reflected flap, provides the maximum lift from all three ways. This is the maximum uh, lift, and this is the loitering area, so we see that fixed hint airfoil provides the maximum uh, lift, the maximum endurance, uh, maximum aerodynamic endurance for uh, loitering flight. If we see on, if we look on drug polars, and we, we are speaking about the Reynolds number 300, that is uh, intermediate, uh, that is relative to small size or even uh, medium or mini size of UAV, we see that airfoil with retractable flap provides the minimum drug value as for deflected flap and uh, especially important, more important, the drag for speed flight for airfoil with uh, retracted flap will be the similar as for single element airfoil and uh, less than for uh, two, slotted two element airfoil even with the cambering option. What is the main goal of our airfoil design? The main goal, of course, is uh, not only our interest, but the design of complex wing, of complex high lift wing for long endurance UAV. Let's look of presented airfoils. They all these airfoils belong to the one family. So it is uh, they, they all have the same geometry of front part, and this is the lowest to employ these airfoils as a Lego, as some set of wing section to create high lift complex wing, to create a complex high lift wing. How option we see? We see, of course, option, the wing based on single element airfoil. This will be high lift airfoil with comparison with, with conventional catalog airfoils, but it is not enough lift to achieve high value of uh, aerodynamic endurance. So we can to use the two element airfoils as the aileron section and single element airfoil in the as the inboard section and this way we can to to retain full flight control because of high level 
of maximum lift for an uh, outboard wing. We can to, to retain full flight control and to use maximum lift as a point of fly without uh, safety restriction for internal wind because of mild stall effect of design airfoil. But this, uh, this decision we still retain on moderate maximum lift. And the new proposed is the high lift wing with maximum achievable level of lift. For internal wing, for inboard wing, we propose to use two element aerofoil with deflected flap. And for outboard wing, two element slotted airfoil. So we can to use the deflected flap for as a flap for takeoff and landing for achieve maximum lift. And for low turn flight, we can to, to fly with relatively low drag with, def, uh, with retracted flap. And as the aileron section, we propose to use slotted two element airfoil with built in possibility of adaptive geometry. So we can to gain not only the maximum theoretical endurance factor aerodynamic, but the aerodynamic endurance for real mission, as for loitering fly, as for speed fly, because of some uh, drug economy. And what will be the conclusions? Some summaries. Several high lift airfoils were designed. Every airfoil was experimentally tested and wind tunnel test uh, were confirmed the uh, high lift capability of these airfoils. Every airfoil belonged to original different concept and every concept uh, has right to be applied for small, medium and mini size of UAV. So this is applied uh, investigation, not only theoretical interest, all designed airfoils and all proposed uh, versions of high lift wings are suitable for small, medium sized UAV. And the new concept, the new complex high lift wing were proposed, and it will be interesting to apply this wing uh, to get the maximum high lift capability and the maximum aerodynamic endurance. At the end, the possible the most important slide, <laughs> the acknowledgement. I want to, to use possibility to greet thanks for wind tunnel facility staff in Kanpur Indian Institute of Technology, for all staff and personally for Professor Padlar for support, for assisting, for contribution. Uh, as I told before, this work was doing work with AD aerodynamic team and great thanks for aerodynamic team, for Mr. Selvaraj, Sankar, Baunit, for collaboration and except that for really warm relation. It was nice to work with this team and I hope I can to tell that to be continued, that we that we will uh, to be with a new joint product to continue our collaboration. Thank you. A couple of questions, please. Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, I'm Vishwanath from Boeing India. Uh, we saw very nice and interesting results and the comparison between slotted as well as the hinged uh, aerofoil with the flap. Uh, just uh, two general comments. One has to do with the fact that uh, are the high lift characteristics on these aerofoils are typical. How sensitive are they to off design conditions? Uh, because the, there's a whole lot of viscous flow phenomena on the wing, including the laminar separation bubble. The second question has to do with uh, if there is no bubble on the aerofoil, uh, you will have a laminar flow extending to 30, 40, 50 percent card. 
And there has been a general practice when you look at NLF aerofoils that you use a tripping mechanism so that it does not naturally trip at 50-60% cord, but it trips at a designed position so that you take advantage of the turbulent boundary layer pressure recording. First question, we are always design our airfoils, our wing. We are try to always want to avoid uh, so nine point design. We are always design our airfoils to provide uh, full, full, fly, uh, full flight polar, full flight envelope from the level of maximum lift and uh, from the level of uh, speed flight. All these points were tested experimentally. All these points were carefully analyzed during the design. So all these airfoils that presented today are not point design. This is one of advance of this uh, design that they provide full flight polar. This is uh, very important for real application, of course. And once more, we are always uh, avoid the point design way. The other question, uh, because of short time for presentation, I am not present on graphs, the comparison between fully turbulence and uh, laminar airfoils, but of course, of course, uh, the design airfoils was checked for fully turbulent behavior as computational as uh, in wind tunnel test. Of course, we pay some drug and some uh, decrease of maximum lift for fully turbulent airfoil. But even with uh, fully contaminated, strong contaminated airfoil, we retain the high value of maximum lift. For example, if I remember, for fully turbulent airfoil, the maximum lift will be approximated here for clean configuration without uh, without uh, additional trailing gate device. And and for two element airfoils, uh, will be maximum lift something uh, in this area for two element slotted airfoil. Uh, the test was uh, very, very high value of test with strong contamination, with slight contamination. Uh, we tested and analyzed airfoils uh, computationally for, for light uh, contamination and for fully turbulent behavior. Uh, so once more, we are retained on high lift design for fully turbulent wings. Any more questions? One more question probably we can take. Mike, please. The pivot uh, model, was it uh, modeled as a solid or a solid. as a complete a solid. Solid. A solid? So what was, uh, what was the difference between the analyzed and the real practical results? Uh, we got a good agreement an experiment, a good agreement with our computational results. Uh, because the solid, because it is interesting to try some uh, non-conventional ways, but because the main goal of our investigation is a real application designed for real uh, UAVs, so we always simplify our design, so not to, to go to complexity of production. Thank you. Okay, I think uh, we can close this, uh, the first talk. I think uh, Dr. 
Alexander Nagel addressed the advantages of uh, multi-element airfoils, uh, both the permanent as well as uh, retractable ones, and where to use what kind of uh, multi-elements have been addressed. And I'm sure that people will take the advantage of this in uh, all our designs of UAVs. And I take this opportunity to thank Dr. Nagel for his uh, excellent presentation. Yeah, just